What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? How you doing? It's Inky Man. It's Wednesday. Hump day. Hump day. Hump day. Hump day. Hump day. Hump day. Yes, so it's hump day. And it's also way in Wednesday. That's right. I'm designated Wednesday to me updating you on the 46 pound challenge. Now you have to watch past videos to see where I was. But today, when I jumped on the scale, this is where I was. In life, you have some people going around and disrespecting the elders. That is a 4.2 pound gain from last week. Woo! Now, what now see I'm trying to give you the real. So at least at least you know I fluctuate. Now what would make me gain 4.2 pounds? Y'all call it the weekend. Now some of you follow me on Instagram and you see the meals that I put up. And I try to put up every meal that's possible. But for the most part, on the weekends, I have my cheat meals. And I think I need to start not so much curbing them because they're important to have, you know, eat other foods. But I think I'm going to have to kind of weigh them out, you know, or kind of, I don't know, make my cheat meals not cheeseburgers and pizza and Beer, that's that's a big deal right there. Beer, D drinking beer, I, and I don't drink a whole lot, but you know I'll get a little, I'll get, a, I'll get a little, I'll get a little Corona like that and drink it. You know, you know, I, I admit it, I mess up sometimes, but that's where it is, folks. That's where I am. That's where it is. That's where I am. I'm doing it all natural, ladies and gentlemen. So naturally, I'm messing up. But wait a minute, let me do the, let me do the fig, let me do the figuration real quick. So the way I see it, from April 4th to May 24th, that's 57 days, 5.6 pounds was lost. So that totals out to be a tenth of a pound a week. Damn. Well, forget all that. Now you know. But you know, here's something that was bothering me today. I want to know if y'all if y'all get this too. So I was at work and I was talking to an older gentleman. Um, and we were going over some of the sitcoms of the past day. I had heard this song and it made me remember that Tom Hanks used to be in a, in a sitcom called Buzz and Buddies with this guy. And the whole premise was that they were living in this rooming house or some sort of house that was just nothing but women in there. And they were living in there because they wanted to pay cheap rent. Apparently it was cheap to live there. So they were dressed as women the entire time they were there. So the whole situation was just them trying to maintain their cover. Of course, falling in love with some of the women there, but still having to be women. So anyway, I looked at that, and then I started thinking of just TV shows that I used to watch. In my time period of sitcoms was the 80s. Some of the 70s, but the 80s. You know, Sanford the Sun, All in the Family, The Jeffersons, Good Times, Different Strokes. How many people remember Silver Spoons? Do you remember Silver Spoons with Alfonso Ribeiro? Like right after he was the tap dance kid, Google that. That's where he got his fame, the tap dance kid. Um, what were some other shows? Anyway, here's the thing. We were talking about Happy Days in uh, another sitcom. Here's the thing. Back in the 70s and 80s, they used to put TV shows out. And what they would do is there would be some character who had the main, they had a main catchphrase. And it was like the studio audience that went to go see the show would always wait for that catchphrase. And then people would, <laughs> would clap. Let me give you an example. The Fonz. How come? Because I'm the Fonz. Oh, hey. Gary Coleman. I forgot what Gary Coleman's name was. What was Arnold? 
What you talking about, Willis? George Jefferson calling white people honkies. Call Sam from the sign where he would always say, You hear that, Elizabeth? I'm coming to join you, honey. Oh. And here's the thing about those shows. When you look at those shows now, or put yourself, if you're not in with that time period, look at the TV shows that you used to get happy about when you were younger and watch them shows now and see how stupid those shows are. See how stupid those shows are. Classic. Can't you can't take away that they were classic, but look how stupid those shows were. You dig me? Do you dig me? Come on now. I, I, I'm waiting to hear something from you. I'm waiting to hear from you. As a matter of fact, what shows did you used to watch? Okay, every show that I just named, I used to watch them. Happy Days included. You know, Different World, Cosby Show. They didn't do all that, but that was like 70s, 80s, they used to do that. But when you look back at the shows that you used to watch, why aren't when you look at them now, aren't they stupid? Except Martin. In my opinion, Martin. Martin is stupid funny. But it ain't stupid. Your opinion? I'd love to hear it down here. Other than that, y'all have a good one. Happy hump day to you. Hump day! <laughs> Later. Hey, make sure to follow me on Snapchat. Snap the photo, take down my name, whatever works better for you.